27th of December, a rest day for most good eaters in the country. Plenty of food on the 25th and 26th. Settle in and watch the racing on the 27th. We've got the Welsh National, the Savile Chase in Ireland, and some brilliant stuff. And who better to go through it with me than Bill and David? Guys, thank you very much for joining me once again. Mm. Um, we'll whiz through the Welsh National. I will say that we will be running the pip offer again all day on all ITV races. So that's money back up to 50 quid if you're beating less than half a length. And that could come into play if the rain comes as a heavy old day in Wales. Um, down the card in the Welsh National Bill at Star Sports, we bet Secret Reprieve, 9-2 to two favourite. Highland Hunter, 6-1. to one. The Big Dog, 6-1. to one. Hold that thought, 13-2. 12-1 bar. I'm going to come to you first, Bill. Secret Reprieve, up in the weights considerably since last, from last year, but still not a stupid weight to carry. Can he get the job done again? Yeah, potentially. I mean, the fact that Native River running is running, or supposedly going to run, because we're doing this before the declarations are made. Um, changes the whole look of the race because some of the horses, um, well-fancied horses that were going to sneak in with a nice nice weight um, are now going to run out the handicap. So your likes of Hold That Taut uh, is going to be five pounds out the handicap and and, and even um, uh, the, there's a few others that are, are going to be, uh, I think the one that won the trial, I Will Do It, yeah, Sam yeah. Thomas's horse is going to be even more. I think he's six pounds out the handicap. It's not to say that they can't do it, but it just makes life that, that bit bit tougher um plenty of rain due um it would be weird to have a welsh national run on good to soft ground but it, it, it would seem strange so it's only only natural that we have heavy ground um at the time of writing i would say or talking i would say i would split stakes between native river i think 16 to one really is, yeah, i think i think 16 to one is too big i really do think it's too big uh, i know he's got a monstrous weight and actually Weirdly, since the last run, he's been dropped. So he's, 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 he's rated 166 and he's actually now rated 162. So he's, he's kind of four pounds worse than he is. But he is a class horse on his day. And I don't think he ran bad. He's a proper stayer. The rain around won't bother him. He'll just keep galloping. And there's some good ones beneath him. And he will more than likely fall in a hole late on or get swallowed up. But I can't see him out the frame. I think he'll run a really big race. Um, I also think he'll be a single figure price. I think when the rain comes and people see him, they'll just realise that he is a proper old mudlark and an old warrior. I think he would be um, the one I would keep on side. And the other one I would go for would be if he runs. Don't know if he runs, but I think he will with the rain. Venetia Williams' horse, hold that taut. Um, I think that he is highly touted and uh, looked a proper stayer when he beat Christmas in April um, back in October. I think this has been the plan for some time. A little bit out of the handicap, which makes life tough, but running around with 10 stone, I think he can get involved later on. But Native River and hold that talk, but cracking race. Davey? Yeah, again, look, it changes dramatically if, if um, Native River doesn't run because you have, a, you have last year's winner and still a seven-year-old um, uh, running off a 10-pound higher mark, but he still runs off 10 stone. You know, so that is that's huge. Um, if the weights did go up ten pounds, that would change things around. You bring in the likes of um, Potter's Corner, um, Bill's heart at uh, uh, Venetia Williams' horse, um, changes everything. Even the big dog goes up ten pounds, up to up to um, eleven five. You know that that changes everything uh, for me. So as they stand, uh, I would say Secret Reprieve loves to run fresh. He's going to be better than he was last year with the experience of winning this race. So it all is just standing out like a beacon to me that Secret Reprieve would go and do it again. Yeah, I thought Potter's Corner showed, showed the old spark was back last time at Cheltenham, Bill. I thought yeah. that was a big, big price. Big yeah. price. If you're looking at a price now that won't be there on the day, a Welsh winner in the past, 14 to 1 Potter's Corner, it won't be that big on the day. Yeah, I think the, the only negative with him, again, is he's one that's, that's badly out of the way. So he's eight pounds out of the handicap. Yeah. Which is a bit of a blow for him. It was just he he he'd be a classic horse that would benefit hugely from Native River not running. That's right. Um, which makes it quite tough. And actually, when these horses come to declare, I think they declare on Boxing Day morning. I think they declare for this. I think there'll be a few surprises that decide not to go when they see Native River declared and jotted up. They might decide to sit it out. Some of the ones massively out the handicap. Not him, of course, but there might be a few that decide not to go. Save them for another day. Right. Let's speak of another day. Let's go. Um, over to Ireland and go to the 145, um, the future champions novice hurdle. It, it, this is a 
Belsey Red, Damadou to Grangy, five to two, Mighty Potter, eleven to four, three stripe life is a five to one chance, and uh, eighteen to one bar them. And Davy, straight to you. This is this as good a race as it looks on paper? Yeah, definitely. Um, like there's loads of depth in it, all the way down to the filly at the bottom. She was very impressive in Fairy House when she won her maiden hurdle. A uh, large debut was visually was you know outrageously impressive. Um, Far out has loads of experience. Um, Arctic Warrior, look, he was a bit disappointing in 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 his last two runs, but Three Stripes and Mighty Potter. Mighty Potter is going to benefit from you know an awful lot from his experience in Fairy House. He stayed on like a demon at the back of the last. Um, a little bit slower ground, you know, a bigger wider track uh he's going to be hard to beat bill yeah 100 the softer ground with mighty potter would be the one mighty potter would be the one for me i thought he he ran a kind of funny race last time because he kind of got outpaced and got got you know he, he looked inexperienced and then he, he was the, the real eye catcher when it behind a surprise winner in statuaire in the royal bond um but he was the horse to take out uh in that race for me and i think he will take some whacking in this race Right. Okay. Um, a race I am particularly looking forward to. But let's fast forward to the twenty eighth. So that's the day four of eating, hunting, drinking. Hopefully, you're still going. Um, <laughs> floated up, plenty of red wine on the go. Let's get to the one forty five, the Christmas hurdle. Um, Flooring Porter, a few horses were sort of on a slight comeback mission. There were some stories around them. Flooring Porter, who was pulled up, then fell, looking to stamp his authority back on this division. Classical Dream, who looked all but gone, and then bounced back with an amazing performance at the back end of last season. And then you've got um, Abracadabra's in there, Commander of the Fleet, who was brilliant last time out. It's developed into a, an intriguing race, isn't it, Bill? It's a, it's a, it's a cracking race. Um, classical Dream is a bit of a kind of scarlet pimpernel. It's not really sure whether we'll see him. He keeps kind of being declared and, or entered and then not declared. He's a non-runner a couple of times, about this time last year, I think he was non-runner at Leperstown um because he was lame and then he was obviously brilliant at punch down and we haven't seen him since although everyone expects him to be the run the moriano and he didn't run there so um he is he holds all the aces if he runs but he's obviously very fragile but he's also obviously very good and he stays the trip um really good race R really ex exciting race to, to 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 look forward to um it's all about classical dream if he turns up but will he turn up you think he will I think he will. I think the, uh, I think I, I think he will. I think this will this will be the race. Um, I see some terms of some firms are five to two. I'm not sure he'll be five to two if he turns up. I think he'll be a bit shorter than that. Um, but he he sets the bar pretty high. But I'm interested to see what Davies will say about yeah. Abracadabras um, or his Mount Graham Roy because I thought they were both interesting. Yeah, look, Abracadabras to me it reminds me so much of Solid. Now maybe in different ways. He, he, he's just shy of being a top class uh, two miler, uh, just shy. He stays two and a half as he showed in, uh, in, in Aintree last year. And I think to step up again to three miles, he was very, he was a very weak and backward horse as a young horse. Uh, he's only just, just coming to himself. He rode like he wanted further the last day in Ferrios and he stayed on as well enough to grab third. Um, so for me, um, Abbott Gabbers, you know, is a big contender. You look, I just have to, the same as yourself with Classical Dream, his performance in Punchstone was just out of this world. Um, but we have to see him. Um, mm -hmm. Flooring Porter, I think people have copped on to his, uh, to his um, strategy and he doesn't get life as easy as, easy as he had in the past. Uh, but there's loads of strength and depth and we probably will hardly see Roland Pump um, Sorry, the Burley is as tough as Teak. Um, you know, there's some very, very talented horses in there. It's a very, very good race. Mm. Uh, Abracadabras is, is going to be the one they all have to beat. Yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say just on that, uh, not the worst bet in the world would be 20 to 1 Abracadabras for the world hurdle, because if he were to win here, that would be the obvious place for him to go, the stairs hurdle route, not the world hurdle. Uh, stairs hurdle, but 20, 20 to 1, I thought, is, is, is quite a big price, because if he stays, he's right in amongst them. I was just looking at the notes from that day when Classical Dream won last time out, and the, the bit that took my was opened nines, went <laughs> off five to two, touched four. Yeah. yeah, I think that tells you everything. You know, I mean, what a horse he was. But when you saw that money, there must have been plenty of punters who got in that evening, 
I mean, not had a bet and saw the result. I thought, no, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. So I think the price he goes off will be, will be very telling. Uh, but let's kick on to the, the big event in Ireland over the Christmas period, the Savills Chase. A brilliant race, a brilliant renewal. Uh, down the card, a Plutar is the 8-11 to favourite. Five, Galvin. Six, Delta Work. Eight, Kenboy. Um, I'm assuming Manella Indo won't run. We'll leave that out. Janadil is a 10 chance. Uh, a, a Plutar. A stunning performance in Haydock last time. Um, one better than that second. But Davey, a likely ride of Galvin potentially in this race? Yeah, he, yeah, Galvin. He's stepped up to grade one company well the last day in yeah. the north. Um, I, I think he's he's come forward for, from that run. So he's in good order at home. I rode him the other day. He's in good nick. Um, visually, Plutard was just absolutely outrageous in in. Yeah. in um, Haydock, he was just fantastic. His jumping was unbelievable. He just really put it all together. Um, he's got so much experience last year with finishing second in the Gold Cup. And sometimes you feel, do they just level off or do they continue improving? He's still only a seven year old, so obviously there's still loads of improvement in him. He's the one we all have to beat. And just a word on Dell's work. Yeah, he's going fine. He, he worked. He worked the other day. Um, he's going fine. He just doesn't seem to. He just seems to get better as the year goes on. He never really, you know, he was. He always seems to disappoint on his first run and kind of keeps improving as the year goes on. So you'll definitely see a better horse this time than you did the last time. Bill, do you tend to improve as the year goes on because you've not got long left? Not even going to answer that. <laughs> um, I, I, I was going to say the weather's interesting here because. Um, uh, the, the, if the rain comes it's going to help Delta work and it's probably not ideal for Davy on Galvin the more rain that falls and I thought Delta work ran really well last time because like Davy says he's not normally that on his game first time up he won this race a couple of years ago and unseated early last year I think he'll step forward but like Davy said if, if Aplutar runs within five pounds of the, the way he ran last time they're all going to struggle struggle to beat him. But uh, I'd say for me, it's probably Delta work if the rain comes as the each way alternative. But you know, it it, it should be it should be an Aplutar procession. I'd imagine if he turns up. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to mention the two of you over over the sort of 27, 28th period? Hmm. There's loads. There's loads. You, you yeah. if it never stopped. It's it's just some fantastic races under some really really good. Uh, maiden hurdles and beginners chases so just you know you're you're going to be glued to the television really you know what 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 race are you most looking forward to the pair of you we'll end on that uh, i'm looking forward to the to, to them top rate them top chase the likes of king george and uh and the likes of the Sables and them you know it's interesting too with them with that staying division the hur staying hurdle division which horse is going to make the breakthrough or which horse is going to stay there you know we could all be sitting here and and uh, you know, at the end of it all, and said that was obvious. You know that classical dream or flooring Porter is as good as he was last year. You know, so them all them um, questions need to be answered, and it'll be interesting as the as the couple of days unfold. Yeah, I, I, I'd I'd say the King George, and the thing I like about the King George is that we got nine runners, we got three strong Irish runners. I think it's it's a, it's everything a Christmas showpiece should be. Brilliant. Listen, guys, thank you for your time, not just now, but all year long. We've had such a great time. It's been good fun. And look, there'll be plenty more. When, when we come back from the year, we're we'll stepping up towards Cheltenham. We'll have plenty of Zoom rooms. And we look forward to find, finding plenty of other winners. But Bill, enjoy the sofa. Davey, enjoy the saddle. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next year. Thanks, guys. <laughs>